Hey, today I'm going to make a video tutorial um, explaining a the aggressive caching programming bug in Warcraft 3. The way I describe this bug, and the simplest description, is that when loading a file from a particular file path, for example x slash y dot zzz, if we have ever loaded a file from this same path before, uh, we then return the binary contents from the previous load request instead of looking up the file again. This behavior that I'm describing here is the incorrect behavior. And this is the incorrect behavior that's been going on since August. Um, in response to my post, uh, Kybex, the community manager, asked for, number one, the steps to produce the bug, number two, an example map, and number three, whether it happens to all units or just some units. The answer is that this bug happens to all players who play the Warcraft 3 game in any way, and it affects all maps. So let's go ahead and open up the Warcraft 3 game, even without a sample map, and I'll try to explain how the concept of loading any file path resulting in a previous load of a previous file at that same path in a game engine that uses overrides. <coughs> I'll try to explain uh, how that can be an issue. So. The number one example of this case, and uh, the first thing we said, the steps to reproduce this problem, um, I would say uh, we could basically show this problem and how the bug affects the game engine on any map at all. Uh, so, for example, let's suppose that I wanted to play a custom game on some particular map. We don't know what it is, and let's say that I'm actually just going to open the world editor and open one of the uh, in-game maps, like a melee map or something. Uh, just just as a start here. So I'm going to go ahead and open a blizzard map and I'm going to go ahead and open Shouldn't matter what map. How about Duskwood? Here we go So to see how the fundamental system through which the game interacts with files on any system does not actually work properly I'm going to go ahead and save this Duskwood map in a new folder I'm going to name this folder video example And inside my video example folder, I'm just going to call this my Duskwood it's a file on my computer, and inside that file is the contents of this map. Now, if I actually try to play the Warcraft 3 game, you'll see that as soon as I try to play this map, or any map, the game won't work correctly. So here I am on the game menu, and now I'm clicking single player. And I'm going to click on custom games, and we're going to load up this custom games menu. Inside the menu, you can see that I can navigate uh, to the particular folder on my computer uh, where this map was is stored in the video example. Now that I've navigated to the location on my computer where this map is located, let me try playing it for the sake of example. Disregarding anything that goes on in the map or anything that we do, we can see that I am in fact playing the map that I just saved. In this sense, the computer is loading the map off of my hard drive. Now, what I'm gonna do is quit out of this map and go into the world editor, and this would work on any map file. Uh, as we see, this is a standard Blizzard map. And I'm just going to delete most most of the stuff in this map. It, it doesn't really matter what I do or what I delete. And then let's go to the unit palette and, and draw a lot of siege tanks just all over the map. Just lots, lots and lots of siege tanks. It, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to save the map. Important note. Clicking on save map in this case is the most important step because we are documenting the Warcraft 3 game's improper interaction with the concept of files of data themselves. And now, as you'll see, when I go back in the, in the uh, Warcraft 3 game and I try to play the map again, uh, sorry, there's some other bugs with the menu, so when I try to finish the game, it jumps randomly to different menus. But now I'm going to go back to play this map again. Um, now that I'm playing the map, I click Create Game and I click Start Game again. And you'll see that we're going to go into this map, and as I get into the world, everything that I deleted uh, is, is still there. The reason this is all still there uh, is that the Warcraft 3 game cannot load uh, a file from the hard drive. Every single file that it ever loads is completely cached, including all maps and all files, which can cause all sorts of problems. Now that I showed you the most basic case of this problem, where the user literally tries to play a map and receives something cached that is no longer the file on their hard drive as the game that they fundamentally play, uh, let me take a moment and try to show you an example of a more uh, fine, fine detailed case of just one example of where a custom map incorrectly caches something in this new caching system and will cause the map to play incorrectly and have visual distortions just based on what was played prior to it. As we can see here, I have a map called This Map has an imported 3D model. This is a very simple map. And the only thing in this map is that I have a uh, 
a unit with a custom model asset. Now, this map was made where the custom model asset was imported as literally the reforged footman. And so when I try to play this on an SD, the map plays in the SD setting and it'll load that reforged footman asset. Um, it's re-imported. So it's not modified from the original reforged footman asset. It was just exported out of the game and imported back into the editor as though it were a custom asset, even though it's literally the Blizzard footman. Now, as you can see, when I played that in SD, that particular asset didn't work because um, it's actually a reforged only asset. So that's kind of the old expected behavior that there's nothing to show if we're loading an asset that only exists in the HD mode. But after I do that, when I then try to play the game and, and try to interact with this character now, um, you can see that even though this is literally the same reforged footman asset uh, in the game, the asset actually corrupts. And the reason the asset corrupts is because the fundamental file caching system of the game is, is not only caching maps, as we saw previously, where I played a map and then edited the map in the editor and then played it again and did not receive the updated version of the map because the entire map file was cached to the file path from which it was loaded by the game system. But what we see here actually is that the unmodified uh, footman asset from Reforge, just imported back into the game itself, if loaded during the SD gameplay, where the game realizes this is an asset it can't display because it's reforged, which is the correct behavior, um, that then that, that SD mode loading process loads essentially files that it's not permitted to load because it's, it's not the reforged graphics. And then when I turn on the reforged graphics and then play it, um, the, the cache has already cached the absence of files being there. It essentially caches an error. And so this, this character model right here renders as this completely strange red footman. And, and, and yet, if I exit entirely out of the game process and then play the game again, and then play the map again, this character will look fine. And, and this is because of the intermap caching that frankly I would say shouldn't be there, um, where it has essentially cached the, the, the data from when playing SD so that then when playing HD, it doesn't work. So just if you see here, I'm gonna go back to this test video example folder. And in that folder, I have the same map again called this map has an imported 3D model. And in that map, when I click start game, you'll see that playing from a fresh start, playing from a game client that hasn't been running, uh, this, this Footman character is in fact the unmodified 3D asset of the Footman in Reforge. No, don't worry about the portrait file down here. I, I didn't import that. Um, but as you can see, the, the character itself is present and is capable of loading, but the bizarre caching mechanism that is a simple line of code that basically says, whenever I load from a file path, if I have ever attempted to load that file path before in the lifetime of this process, then I will load what I loaded last time instead. That new system that was introduced in the last few months into Reforged is, is fundamentally breaking all sorts of things from, from the map that you play to the characters within the map. Uh, and, and that essentially is, is leading to these kind of problems.